this video is going to show you how to use the visual composer to pimp up your pages like this one for example so you can see at the moment we've just got a sort of gray background uh, to this header with the title and this content has been copied and pasted in now there's obviously some duplicate content here that's also in the header we don't need that and it looks quite bland right so we're going to start uh, we're obviously logged in to admin we're going to click on edit with visual composer and what that does is loads up the uh, bakery visual com composer on top of the page now what you'll see is when you hover over things you'll start to get some little tools so this one i can uh, this is a text box, so this whole section here where you put your mouse over, right? Um, now I can do a bunch of things. If I had other places to move it to, I could drag and drop it. There isn't anywhere at the moment. If I want to edit it, I click on the little edit. If I want to clone it, I make another one. I'll just hit clone. There we go, now there's two of them. And if I want to get rid of it, I'll just hit the trash. There we go. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is probably just pull out these little bits of uh, uh, subtitles that are there. So I'll click on edit. And you can see in here, um, it's just the same as um, editing an ordinary uh, page. Uh, you've got your links and all the other stuff that's going on. Um, and quite simply, to get rid of those, I'm just going to hit delete um, and we'll get rid of those. Now, while I'm here, um, for things like links, for example, you can click on a link and you can go for format and make it a button style. I'll click on save and you'll see what it will do is put a button in there uh, just behind. So it's converted that link into a into a nice big fat button. Um, I don't obviously want that one uh, for this, so I'm just going to take that off uh, and then hit save changes again. Uh, there are other bits and pieces you can do in here. Obviously, you can upload files, add media, and so forth. Um, you can change padding around um, the the text box that you're editing and, and do other things with CSS. So we'll close that. Um, there we go. So that's looking a, a little bit better. Um, now let's say I actually wanted to put a title in above uh, above my, my text that I've got already. So this little yellow one, it's being hidden because the, the, the layout's not quite right. But what I want to do is add a row. So you'll see now I've got two big gray items. So I've got an inner row there and a row down here. And if I want to add something to this row, I click on add. And then I can say I want more text in this case. So I'm going to search for text. There it is. And I'm going to put in a title here about All right, so something just like that. And I'm going to uh, then make it a uh, heading. You don't use heading one at all on pages. That's because in, with Google, you only want one H1. Um, and this bit here um, outside, that's your heading one already. So at tops, so I'll go for a heading two and you, you want to um, you know, make your hierarchy. In this case, I'm actually going to use a heading three. I'm going to save that. There it is. Oh, I actually want to just center that as well. So I'll click on edit. Uh, select it all, click center, save, close. And I also want that to be above my first bit of text. So there it is. Okay. Now, um, my row has just gone a bit wonky there. So I want this one here inside of this row here. And now what I can do is I've got my kind of title section, uh, I've got my kind of strap line section, and then I've got the, the main text of the page. Okay, so now I've, I've got my row and I've got my column and I can do a few things to this. So you can, again, mess around with the column design options and stuff and decide how it behaves when it's um, uh, on a mobile device. Um, but what I can't see is, is what I want to um, is what I want to change. I want to make this row have a highlight color behind it. So I'm going to click update. So that saves my changes. And I'm going to switch to the back end editor. And from here, I can see kind of what's happened. I've got a, a big row within a row. So I want to move this text out to a row below. That's better. So this here should be in this row down here. This should be in a row on its own, not within a row, which seems a little odd. So again, I'm going to click plus. I'm going to add a row. There's the, the, the new row that I want. And then I'm just going to move my text block into that row. And I'm going to get rid of this one because it's, it's ended up with a row within a row. So I'm just going to 
kill that off. There we go. Um, and now I'm going to switch back to my... No, don't switch back. You want to click update first always. So these little um, icons and tools and stuff are exactly the same. doesn't matter where you are. If you click on edit text block, there you go. It's the same, same window, same um, piece. Uh, you can change this row to be a number of columns. So if you want to divide that up and have three columns worth of content there, you can do that. We'll show you that again in a sec. Um, but for the purposes of this, what I want to do now is change this row. Uh, I want to make sure it stretches full width every time. And then I'm going to change it to be a highlight row with the dark background. So we'll have a look and see what that looks like. Again, click update. Switch over to the front end. And I'll close the editor. Okay, so that's the dark row. So the dark is, you see, the bottom of the gray there. So dark in this theme at the moment, that dark is, is just a gray. So let's go edit. And then let's have a look at this row again. And I'm going to edit the row. So I've got the row settings come up. Um, and then I'm going to go to highlight background color. So click save. There we go. It's a nice kind of green color. So that's um, how we can kind of pimp up those pages and make them look a little different and a little uh, a little more stand out. Uh, see the other video on how to uh, update this title and put an image in there. So let's move on to another page and I'll show you how to put some icons in. So you can see this has got now like a three um, column layout. I'll click visual editor. And what I think I want to do is, is add an icon for each of these. So we've got private and then we've got fitness clubs and institutions. Okay, so uh, instead, just not my uh, text block here, but I'm going to add an item into this column. So I'm going to click plus and I'm going to type icon. There we go. So this is going to put our icon in up the top. You can see that that's there now. Um, I'm going to go with a, uh, a color that is um, appropriate. So violet will do for the moment. No, maybe it's just over blue. Um, there's various um, icon libraries that you can look at. So uh, if you click the down arrow here, it'll show you all the various uh, icons that are available. All right, so I'm going to use a, a home icon for that one. And then I can put some uh, shapes around it. So I'm going to go outline circle, click save. There we go, right? See, so that says sort of, it's got a home icon behind it. Um, you can link that to other things and, and do other stuff. So I'm just going to click save on there and I'll close that. Um, let's do another one here. So I'm going to add to the top. I'm going to put an icon in here. I want something that's a bit different. Let's Uh, so I'm going to go with something, like I say, a bit more businessy here. I'll go for an outer circle. I'll leave it in blue again, save that and close it. So you can see that we can build up icons for various um, bits and pieces on the page. Uh, so again, just save your changes, click update and then exit. And you can start to see that the page takes on a bit more of a kind of a uniform piece. So I'll, I'll go on and do those for these other, these other bits. Um, now, one other thing about this page is you can see that I've got three columns currently, and uh, that's defined in the row here. So if I click on this guy, it'll say currently I've got a third, a third, a third, a third. Okay, so let's change that to, to two rows. So what I'll do here first is I'll move that down to there, and I'll move the swimming one over into here. And then I want to remove that third column. So I'm going to go to two halves. We'll update that, close it. And there we go. Now I've got two half columns rather than uh, three in, in, in thirds. So we'll update and close that. And there we go. And again, I can align those icons up into the center um, and change it around, make it a bit different, depending on what I want to do.